White House correspondent Mary Alice Parks has more on the State of the Union. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Tonight, President Biden speaking to a packed House chamber, rallying the nation and the world against a common foe. Putin may circle Kyiv with tanks, but he'll never gain the hearts and souls of the Iranian people. He'll never, he'll never extinguish their love of freedom, and he will never, never weaken the resolve of the free world. Throughout the night, bipartisan solidarity for Ukraine, including this standing ovation for Ukraine's ambassador to the U.S., thank you, thank you. sitting in the balcony next to the First Lady. Down below, many in blue and yellow waving Ukrainian flags. Putin's latest attack on Ukraine was premeditated and totally unprovoked. He rejected repeated, repeated efforts at diplomacy. He thought the West and NATO wouldn't respond. He thought he could divide us at home, in this chamber, in this nation. He thought he could divide us in Europe as well. But Putin was wrong. We are ready. We are united, and that's what we did. We stayed united. Putin is now isolated from the world more than he has ever been. The president vowing to go after Russian oligarchs where it will hurt them most and match Europe's restrictions on Russian flights. Tonight, I'm announcing that we will join our allies in closing off American airspace to all Russian flights, further isolating Russia and adding additional squeeze on their economy. At the same time, the president seeking to reassure Americans about the turmoil overseas. I know news about what's happening can seem alarming to all Americans. But I want you to know we're going to be OK. We're going to be OK. When the history of this era is written, Putin's war in Ukraine will have left Russia weaker and the rest of the world stronger. Well. Biden promising to release more oil into the market and tackle anxiety over inflation. I get it. That's why my top priority is getting prices under control. Lower your costs, not your wages. Make more cars and semiconductors in America. More infrastructure and innovation in America. More goods moving faster and cheaper in America. More jobs where you can earn a good living in America. Instead of relying on foreign supply chains, let's make it in America. Many of his policy proposals aimed at families, from paid family leave to child care funding, stalled in Congress. So what are we waiting for? Let's get this done. We all know we've got to make changes. The sight of a full House chamber alone, a huge change from this time last year, when he spoke to only a sparse crowd, COVID-19 vaccines only beginning to be rolled out. Last year, COVID-19 kept us apart. This year, we're finally together again. The president tonight saying it's a moment of transition in the pandemic. And I know you're tired, frustrated, and exhausted. But I also know this. Because of the progress we've made, because of your resilience and the tools that we have been provided by this Congress, tonight I can say we're moving forward safely back to a no, norm, more normal routine. Biden arguing an increased supply of treatments will help if Americans do catch the virus. And if Congress presides the funds we need, we'll have new stockpiles of tests, masks, pills ready if needed. I can't promise a new variant won't come, but I can, I can promise you we'll do everything within our power to be ready if it does. The president drawing bipartisan applause on increased funding for police and on securing the border. We should all agree the answer is not to defund the police. It's to fund the police. Fund them. Fund them. Before a divided nation, Biden ending with a call to work across party lines and to, quote, meet and overcome the challenges of our time. On our 245th year as a nation, I've come to report on the state of the nation, the state of the union. And my report is this. The state of the union is strong because you, the American people, are strong. We are stronger today. Our thanks to Mary Alice.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.